Why, hello there! I hope you like the uh, intro. It took me a whole ten minutes to create. Yeah. Okay, well, first of all, go to Brush, Library, Architecture. We are going to go to Village, all the way down to Village House. We'll just pick a simple one here. Okay. So, now if you just placed an AI soldier right here, he'd just go all running into the walls and stuff, and that that's not good. So we're going to configure it. So first of all, go to AI, Forbidden Area, put Align to Terrain on, and just place it around the house, and not, not around the stairs, just on in this case the four corners of the house okay now assign it a height of two and then place it underground a little bit just so a little bit of it is showing up Okay, now go to AI, AI Navigation Modifier, once again align to terrain, and put it inside the forbidden area uh, on the four corners, but wherever you want them to enter the house, you need to place a little triangle. In this case, it's in the stairs. We will assign it a height of three, and see. So it'll just be a little triangle going out of the forbidden area like that. Okay. Now go to AI, AI point, and now we will place one inside the navigation modifier, or well, inside the little triangle. It has to be outside of the forbidden area, but inside the navigation modifier in order for them to enter it. Change uh, over here in the parameters go to type and change it to entry slash exit put the arrow going in so that means they will enter it now I'll just control C to copy and change the type to waypoint what this will do is these little points are where, are where they will be able to stop and shoot at you basically Okay so we'll just place them through the house a little bit I'm just uh, constantly pressing control C in order to copy them like this okay so that's enough and if you have windows in your house place a waypoint right up against it change the type to hide and put it so the arrow is facing towards the window and just put it like this this little circle is where the uh, soldier will be when he's hiding there and so he he will be able to go from these and just hide there crouch and shoot at you so you can place that in there okay now that we have that you click click on your navigation modifier and in the parameters you'll see waypoint connections change that from designer to auto dynamic and then if you have done everything correctly you should see lines connecting everything and this is where the AI will be able to go you know they'll run here stop shoot at you run there and so on and so on okay and that is pretty much it for that part now once you have your insides done you're gonna need to configure the outside for the AI so we are going to go to view open view pane database view we will load library Asian new and props now we can go to archetype entity we'll go to props down to storage military 
and uh, pallet army boxes cover. And we'll just place a couple of those right here. Of course, you'll have to go ahead and configure it like you want for your map. Okay. Now, once again, he's going to run into this stuff if you don't place a forbidden area around it. So you can just place that real quick. And put it tight around it. Don't don't be lazy and just put it all not up against it. Okay? Now, go to AI AI anchor and you should see this little well it looks like an anchor basically. And here in the properties, you'll see anchor type and the default is just wrong type so click on that and then click on the three dots and then you'll see all of these come up now uh, click on combat hide spot and then click OK and then you should see uh, this stuff come up basically and what this is is this is the uh, where he will be able to shoot at you so this is the range he will have so what you can do is turn it like you like and it's it's very similar to the hide in uh, the AI points and you can just place it up against your object and once again this circle is where the uh, AI will be now do not place it at the edge you're going to want to place it at the middle so he actually has cover so you'll only be able to add one for two boxes like this and you you can also actually add one on the other side as well which will give them even more and you can also place them out in the open so they can they can uh hide here and just stop and shoot at you basically okay so uh you know you can just place a few there here and there everywhere and there you have it place it so it's in all directions so no matter where you come from they'll always have a place to hide you, you always remember to do that it's what makes a good map so n once you have done that uh, first of all go to AI generate all navigation this will uh, make it so your AI can walk around in your map now once you have done all of your uh, stuff, go to AI Generate Triangulation. What that will do is just make it so they know where to go to uh, get to all this stuff. And if you don't do that, they won't recognize any of this and won't use it, basically. So we'll go to Archetype Entity. Um, he's your new. You can just get anybody, you know, whatever, whatever you want. They basically explain themselves. Okay, we'll place one in the house. You can test it out a little bit. See if it works. See if we can make him come out here. Well, he's staying at the waypoints, and that works. Now, see the the thing with these houses is if you have two, you, you're going to need two doors, one with an arrow pointing in so they can go in the house, and one with an arrow pointing out so they can go outside of the house. So that that's the uh, bad thing about this particular house right here picked the wrong one for this tutorial but you know what are you gonna do okay that is all for this tutorial hope it was helpful and hope that you enjoyed